All right, before we move on with um, the interviews for um, the stories for tonight, we still have um, the director of um, ABC News here in the studio, Mr. Ta. Mr. Ta, are you there? Yeah, good evening. Uh, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, well, t tonight seems to be a very sad one, several killings um, here and there. I mean, a young girl killed already, and it seems like much emphasis needs to be placed on the reason why students, pupils, shouldn't be let out of the house. I mean, we hadn't even read the story, and you had stood your ground on what the interim government had said or has been saying. Now, here we have more reports. I mean, a young girl just lost her life, and I'm sure there are so many other reports that has not been reported officially about such incidences. Please, we need you to throw more light on this. Onye, thank you once again for this question. Without taking too much of your time, it's just a normal news to wake up any morning and see an Amazonian baby lying down on the floor, helpless, in their own pool of blood. You heard the way Tori Man can be said during the PG News, and he said, now parents are burying their own children it is normal in amazonia but what does this tell every amazonian or any amazonian home and abroad that it is time for us to wake up if you're thinking that the killings will suddenly by a miracle end the next morning that's not possible tyrants behave the exact same way so what we're going to do is to focus in our draft we want to appreciate and congratulate the BLM for a successful weekend it's a county that is being revamped there. And this week, we're looking forward to Momo. Momo is of keen concern. It's a very strategic, uh, geopolitically positioned county of Amazonia. But here is what the interim government would like people to know when it comes to this whole thing. Then it's calling us to focus on the activities that are coming ahead of this month. I'd like to preempt you Sometime this month, I think from the 22nd or so, we're going to have an international press conference. The president will be receiving dignitaries and members of government in Washington by the end of this month. And globally, the president is calling us to make a statement. The statement we have to make has to do with our resistance. And it starts now. I want to see some of those beautiful images of the lockdown that took place at the home front today. How the people... That's just the token of your own sacrifice to ensure that we as Amazon president has acknowledged October 1st activities, preparations, everything is going well. The, the, the death of our, of our peoples, of our students, of our wives, as they rape our sisters. The only thing we can do, maybe someone wants to remove this image right now. The only thing we can really do is our response to what is happening and our response our collective response is to participate for the lockdown number one is for those in the diaspora to make sure that you join your counties and draft make sure you're paying your aid and you're promoting this platform abc amba television right now is the only tv in sub-saharan africa that is communicating the story on on untainted of the peoples of the former British South in Cameroon. So what do we do to stop the war? The only way we can stop the war is to win the war or to force the Republic to Cameroon to meet us on the table. Thank you. All right, Mr. Ta, you also mentioned about the um, Independence Day while you were answering the previous questions. All the killings in Amazonia is the interim government is working towards stopping it, is working towards Amazonia finally getting to Boya, gaining its own recognition, gaining its recognition. Um, the Independence Day celebrations, is there, um, are there events geared? You've mentioned the press, international press conference for September 22nd. That aside on the Independence Day, because a lot has been said about what will happen. A lot has been said about this year's independence being very special. Is there anything else you'd like yeah. us to know about this coming Independence Day and the interim government's move towards our recognition, Amazonian recognition? Yeah, 